Hi, everybody. All right. I need to wash my hair. <laughs> it's like um, one of those Cabbage Patch Kids from a long time ago where you could crimp their hair and it just stays there. That's my hair right now. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nicole, and I am here to do a live. I am going to use a new palette that I just got today, and I'm so excited. Um, just came in the mail, so I'm going to show you guys that, and going to use it for the first time. So I'm thinking that I am going to do a daytime makeup look. Now, my name's Nicole. I'm a unique presenter. Hi, Andrea. And um, Andrea, have you seen the new Kudos that's out this month? For those of you guys that don't know, Kudos are a discounted set of products that are usually amazing. Usually they're new products or just a, a time, a certain time period product, and that's what this is. Sometimes, hi Amy, sometimes if they are so amazing, they bring them back to stay. So keep that in mind. Let everyone know that you like it, all right? So I'm going to show you guys the new kudos. I didn't even open it yet, okay? Didn't even open it. I didn't touch it, nothing. I wanted to do the reveal and be as excited as you guys, hopefully. And I called it the pink unicorn because I've seen, I, I'm a sucker for pink, okay? I like, I like wearing pink, not just during February, during Valentine's, whatever. I always had to work on Valentine's. How many of you guys, because um, I was single forever, and I worked at Bath bed no bath and body works and I was always the one working on Valentine's Day that was me and boy did I give those men a rash of crap when they came in trying to pick up a present last minute uh-uh that's not cool but anyway I was usually always the one working on Valentine's Day welcome you guys thanks for jumping on I know it's been a little bit since I've been on but anyways I'm here to unreal unveil Unveil, unveil the kudos for this month. So this is what you get. You get a customized quad palette for brand new, only available eyeshadows the month of February. You get the crease brush, all right, which I didn't have, so I was really excited. Hi, Martha. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for jumping on, everybody, and thanks for saying hi. If you're watching, please say hi. If you're watching the replay, put hashtag replay. It helps me know who's watching and uh, lets me know you're there. And you also get, hi, Kelly, you also get a lip bonbon. Now, I have been wearing these a lot lately, and I'm telling you, they have grown on me, so much so that I ordered another one, all right? So the one that I'm going to do today, I think I'm going to do this lighter pink. It's called Raspberry Cheesecake. Huh? Okay. So it's just a soft pink. And what this is is kind of like a moisturizing, a tinted moisturizer. Um, it's got some, I think it has like coconut oil, shea butter, other kinds of um, oils in it, vitamin A, E. It's no alcohol. It is so nice on your lips, and it's just a nice hint of color. So I have that one, and then I also have this little bit darker one, and that is called Red Velvet Cheesecake. And as you can tell, I use that one a lot. <laughs> All right, so let's break this thing open, and let's see. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Can't wear it anymore, Andrea, because it's like 80 degrees here in Arizona. Are you guys cold still in California? Where's everybody from? What's the weather like? Because here, I think I actually broke out my self-tanner the other night. And um, I think I'm going to be wearing shorts this week. Shorts, shorts, people, shorts. What is this world coming to? 80 degrees. Give me a break. Okay, here we go. The kudos this month is called Be Loved, Be Loved. All right? And we have four custom colors. Oh, my gosh. Now, this is not going to come across. So I'm going to do a swatch, and hopefully you guys can see on my hand what they look like. The first one is called Unwavering, 
and it's not translating well, but this is that unicorn color. This is like um it kind of it's like a holographic color and it's kind of got purple um like hints of purple and pink. You cannot tell at all. I'll swatch it. The next one is called Adored, and that is a beautiful pink color. It's not translating at all. The next one is Alluring. It's a beautiful, like, reddish um, pink, like a mauve color. And the last one is called Devoted, and it is a plum color, a deep plum. Okay? So let me swatch these on my hand, and let's see how they come across here. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you can, can you see how this moves at all? Okay, this would be a beautiful highlighter. Hold on, hold that thought. I want to see. Okay, I'm going to grab this. It's like a little fan brush and I'm going to dust a little of this. on my face. This is going to be, if you guys like highlighters, holy guacamole. You can see this from the stars. <laughs> holy cow. Do you guys see that? Wow. Okay. Well, I found my new highlighter. Whoop, whoop. Okay, moving on. I digress. I'm trying to make this a short and sweet one. Everybody doesn't have that much time. Okay, next is Adored, and that is that soft pink color. Okay? All right. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> it's not... Oh, I don't think this is showing up very well. Okay, so this is like that iridescent unicorn color. This is a soft pink I'll do a picture um, afterward. I think it'll turn out better. You guys, these are so pigmented. Just so you know, these pressed shadows are built with, they're made with a primer in them, okay? So you don't have to use a primer. Here's that other color. This is called Alluring, all right? And then last we have Devoted. Oh, Devoted. See, I thought this was kind of a, I thought it was a different color, but this is actually kind of a deep purple. Those are beautiful colors. So here's the unicorn color. There's a light pink and then kind of a reddish pink color and then like a deep purple. So I think for tonight's look, I'm going to do a daytime look, okay? Um, and then maybe I'll come back if you guys want and I'll do a nighttime look. So this is the customer kudos that you get for this month. It's a discounted only can get it right now. You get four press shadows, you get the crease brush, and you get the lip. Oh, oh, that's the color I wanted. I dropped it. <laughs> and you get a lip bonbon. Okay, so these are the tinted moisturizers that have colors. So you get all of this, sixty-seven dollars. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's get cracking here. I'm just trying to make these a little bit shorter and sweeter. All right. All right, so I am going to do a daytime look, and I think I'm going to use, let me just start by saying, this color here, this holographic one, how come you can't, it doesn't, oh, I hate, I've got to work with my phone, there, because it, like, changes it. So this color here, you can put it over the other colors and change the color, okay? So you can actually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different colors just out of this palette by putting this on top of the different colors, okay? I've seen some crazy combinations. I was sitting there looking through some of them and I was like, I don't know which one, I don't know which one I want to do, but I'm going to try and go for a daytime look, okay? So I'm going to use, to start off, I'm going to use the um, a blending brush, our blending brush. It's kind of a fluffy brush here. I'm just going to kind of clean it off because I had gingerly on it. All right, and I'm going to go in with this light pink color called Adored. I think that's what I'm going to do. No, I'm going to go in with Alluring. Okay, I'm going to do Alluring as my transition color right there. 
Now, it doesn't take much. You guys, these are so pigmented. So pigmented. Andrea, you would love this. Okay, so I just touch it. Look at all that. Do you see all that? It's nuts. Okay, so I'm going to tap off the excess. And let me get my mirror here. And then I'm going to tap off a little more because <laughs> I know these are so pigmented. And I am just going to lightly, I'm holding really far back on my brush here. And I just want to make this my transition color, okay? So I kind of just want to do it in the crease part. I'm going to try and keep it a day look. All right, if you guys are jumping on, say hi, say hello, let me know you're there. Yeah, you need to go check your mail, Amber, because you're going to want to break this baby open for tomorrow. Amber already jumped on the bandwagon, and she got it, so I told her. And, and just so you guys know, if I can help you guys with this. It's not like you guys just get it, and then I'm like, good luck, how fun. I come to people's houses. I do videos with them. I do a video for them. I am here for you, okay? Because you learn by, I learn by watching other people and doing it. So that's what you got to do. You just got to learn by doing it. All right. So I kind of, I want it a little darker. I know this is a daytime look, but I'm going to do it one more pass. I can't help it. I can't help myself. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this color? If you like this color, you think it's, it's good for a daytime look. Put a one. All right? Because I know sometimes I get carried away and I can't think, like, I have a hard time going really neutral. <laughs> I like my colors. <laughs> Andrea, I would love to come over. You know that I would love to come over and see your place. That's for sure. All right. All right. Martha, you think this is good. Okay, so... I know I get a little crazy sometimes. I want to do that plum in there, but I'm not going to because we're going to do a daytime look. Andrea, it's a one. Okay, so a one if you think that this is a suitable color for all of you ladies for a daytime look, okay? And I know a lot of you probably, you don't wear a lot of makeup, so we're keeping this simple, folks. Okay, so I'm just blending it in just to make it even, okay? Okay. Is that even? I feel like I need a little bit more over here. And a little bit goes a long way. Because like I said, I do have some primer on my eyes because I had already had eyeshadow on. But um, this has eyeshadow or primer built into it. Okay. All right. So now I am going to take um, our shader brush. Okay. This is cool. It's a dual ended brush. So we have a liner on one side and a shader brush on the other. And I'm gonna take that light color, Adored. So that is this, oh boy, that just does not wanna work. This color, this soft pink, okay? So I'm gonna just gonna pack some of that on, tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna pat it on my eye, okay? So I, with these shadows and with most, you just wanna pat you don't want to go swish swashing all around. You just want to pat it, all right? Ooh, this is really pretty. Holy cow. Look at that. Total daytime look, right? Okay, let's do the other eye. And wait till you see how easy this is. Okay, so I'm only going to use two colors. Okay, I lied. I'm going to use I'm going to use that unicorn color, okay? But I'm going to use it in a way that, in two different ways. Okay. All right, so we're tapping this baby on. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm going to put a little bit of that lighter color in the corners of my eyes. That's a good trick for you guys, is if you are looking or feeling a little tired, put like a lighter color in the corners of your eyes. And that'll help give it more awake, um, to help you be more awake. Okay, so let me use my shader brush again. And I am just going to kind of blend those two together. Just so there's not a line, okay? 
because your, your goal is to make it kind of look like a sunset. See how that's kind of blended and that's still kind of choppy. All right, so you just want to, I'm just going to blend it a little bit more. Okay, so that's two colors, right? Is this daytime appropriate? The, um, the pressed shadows, the pressed shadows have the primer built in, okay? All right, what do you guys think? Daytime appropriate? Would you guys wear this? Moms, ladies, working mothers, would you do this? I, I would. Maybe I'll wear this tomorrow. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shader side, and I'm going to, no, I'm not. I'm going to take our crease brush that comes with it. I haven't even used it, you guys, so I don't even know how it works. Okay, and I'm going to use a little bit of that darker pink color that I used in my transition, and I'm just going to bring it underneath. All right, put a little bit on there, and I just want to bring a little bit underneath. See how it adds just a little bit? I really like using um, the shadows that I use kind of in the crease area underneath my eye. I could, I'll even use all the colors that I use on top and kind of make them blur them out, but I really like using that instead of eyeliner. I just feel like when I use eyeliner, it ages me and nobody wants that, right? And, um, and it just sort of, I don't know, closes my eye off. So I tend to just pick some of the darker shades. Now keep in mind, you don't want to bring these darker colors down. You want to remember to keep that angle so that you keep an uplift effect, okay? So don't go far down your face, keep it angled. You can even clean it up with a little bit of concealer if you wanted to. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is use my finger and I'm gonna use that unwavering color and I just want to put it in the center. Okay, I don't have really a clean finger here. So I'm gonna use my finger. You guys, it's like glowing! Oh my gosh. Okay, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tap it kind of in the center. Oh my gosh. Okay, actually I'm gonna bring it over just a little bit more. Holy cow. Do you see that? Okay, we're gonna have to blend it a little bit. It turns it kind of like a violet color. Do you see that? That like took it up a notch. Okay, I'm going to close that palette because I want to keep adding more colors. <laughs> okay, I was going to do a halo, but I couldn't help myself, and I had to just add a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to blend out that the edges just to make it a little bit more seamless because I used my finger. See the difference? It's still there and I want to be real light because I don't want to take the product off. I just want to blend it. Blend the edges. Alright. Oh, is that not beautiful? Holy cow. What do you guys think? Daytime look? Can you do this? If you can do this, give me a two. Give me a two if you think you can do this. Alright. Let's put on some more mascara because I kind of took it off when I took off my eyeshadow. I know. I love this palette. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. Whoops. I'm getting it in my hair. This is the Epic Mascara. One step. Gorgeous lashes. Now, I already had some on from today, but I just wanted to darken it up a little bit, okay? All right. So, Andrea, you think that you can do this. If you guys know somebody that would like this palette, share this with them. Share this on their wall. Share it on your wall. Um, let's get it in the hands of everybody. Because I think this is, this is a very versatile palette that can go with anybody's eye color or skin color, everything. I've seen it on so many. So these are the different colors. I only used a little bit of this and then these two. And then I'll come back and I'll do a nighttime look a different night. But let's do, 
Let's do the raspberry cheesecake. So this is one of the pink colors. Do you see how much color is in that? And it tastes so good. It doesn't have like a funky taste to it. I put this on all day. All right, and then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of that unwavering It's a little trick you can do. You put a lighter color in the middle of your lips. Okay. And it makes them look fuller. Huh? What do you like? All right, everybody. There you go. There is a daytime. I told you my hair is like a cabbage patch kid. It's like it'll just stay wherever you put it. <laughs> I'm jumping in the shower after this. <laughs> All right, everybody. So this is the Kudos palette. Daytime look. You've got your crease brush. You have the four pressed shadows that are made just for this month. And you have a lip bonbon of your choice. There's several different colors. We have like a, um, like a coral, a light pink, a dark pink, a reddish color. And then there's a white, like a clear one. That's vanilla milkshake. Um, and if, if you know if you don't want color but you still want that moisturizer I even have the vanilla milkshake for David for my husband because it's so much better for your lips than like Vaseline that he was using Ugh. okay all right everybody here you go here's the kudos if you're interested you want more information put kudos down below or uh, give me a give me a text give me a Facebook message um, I'm actually ordering this evening because um, I'm going to order some more self-tanner because it's 50% off. And um, I've got some other orders to add to it. So if you are interested, definitely let me know. I'll order it in the next 30 minutes or so. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't matter. It'll be here the whole month of February. Okay? So thank you guys so much for jumping on. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Andrea. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let's do another look. How about, how about another look this week? Maybe we'll do an evening look where I get to use some of that dark plum color. Hi. All right. Okay. We've got a weirdo. Oh, I've made um, weirdo status. Okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> so I'm going to come back and I'm going to do this plum color later on this week. All right, ladies, have a great week, and um, I'll see you later this, this week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>